Hello, I'm Alyssa Seifert with NASA's Office of Inspector General. Since its establishment in 1961, NASA's Goddard Institute for Space Studies, known as GIS, has collaborated with the world science community to research the structure and atmosphere of the sun, earth, moon, and other celestial bodies. Over the past 35 years, GIS has been at the forefront of global climate modeling, and its simulations of the Earth's climate are widely circulated in the science community. Located in New York City, GIS's staff of 154 includes 29 NASA employees, 30 contractors, and 95 researchers primarily from Columbia University. NASA pays more than 95% of GIS's $19.1 million annual budget. In this audit, part of our broader examination of NASA's collaborations with universities and other non-governmental entities, we examined NASA's management of GIS. We found that GIS is a major contributor in helping NASA meet its Earth science research goals. In particular, the agency looks to GIS to improve its ability to predict climate change by better understanding the roles and interactions of the ocean, atmosphere, land, and ice in the climate system. In addition to climate modeling and related data sets, the Institute's major efforts include research in atmospheric chemistry, astrobiology, aerosols, and water isotopes. Apart from its scientific contributions, our review determined that contrary to NASA policy, 65% of new GIS scientific publications publicly released between 2016 and 2017 were not approved by GIS or Goddard officials prior to release. To ensure accuracy and avoid releasing sensitive information, NASA policy requires review and approval before scientific information can be publicly released. We found NASA's guidance related to the independence of the initial approver in the technical review process inadequate and not in conformance with best practices. We found multiple instances of unallowable salary, subcontracting, and computer equipment expenses at GIS, resulting in about $1.53 million of questionable expenditures since 2012. The inappropriate use of NASA funds was largely the result of insufficient oversight and training by NASA's technical officers and approving officials, along with the absence of a senior level administrator at GIS to manage the Institute's grants and cooperative agreements. Finally, GIS routinely collaborates with public and private institutions on an ad hoc basis to achieve NASA's strategic research goals. However, we found that the Institute is missing additional opportunities to partner with other federal agencies and research entities that conduct similar work because GIS lacks the long-term interagency agreements needed to set goals and objectives and provide needed funding. In our judgment, improved coordination may lead to efficiencies across agencies that conduct similar climate research and modeling. We made eight recommendations to improve NASA's review of GIS's scientific information, its use of appropriated funds, and collaboration efforts with other agencies and research organizations. To read the full OIG report, please visit our website at oig.nasa.gov. <laughs>